Well, there's been a blowout on a natural gas rig in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's forced dozens of workers to evacuate. Officials say it is still burning, and it's still out of control right now. The rig, they tell us, is about 55 miles off the coast of Louisiana. Environmental officials say the fire began last night. No word on what caused it. And they say part of the well has actually collapsed into the Gulf. Of course, a rig explosion led by the BP disaster back in 2010 for months uh, millions and millions and millions of gallons of oil poured into the Gulf. In this case, it's leaking gas. It's natural gas that's leaking. Officials say inspectors flew over the site shortly after the blowout and reported a light sheen covering about a half mile of water, which they said was dispersing quickly. Steve Harrigan has more on this. He's in our Florida newsroom this afternoon. It, it sounds like it's starting to fall apart, really. That's right, Shepard. This fire was ignited about 11 o'clock last night. It's been burning steadily since then. It's burning right now, and officials cannot say how much natural gas is escaping, being burnt. They can also not say when they expect this fire to be put out. And as you mentioned, that rig is already collapsing due to the fire. Some of the beams that hold up the derrick are collapsing, as well as the floor of that rig. This is certainly going to complicate uh, any operations there. Specialty boats are en route to the scene. They're expected there this evening. They'll be using foam and water to try and put out that fire. There's also a discussion about drilling a secondary well, a safety well, where they could use concrete to try and tap this one well to plug it up. It's out of control right now. Bad, but they're telling us it's no BP, Steve. Some of the same parish officials who had to deal with that BP spill in 2010 are saying this threat does not pose the danger that that BP oil spill uh, did to the region uh, three years ago. And keep in mind that all 44 crew members were saved unharmed. They were evacuated by two, two lifeboats before the fire started. The Coast Guard already has a command center in place. And that sheen that you mentioned was light early on. Right now, the most recent observations say there is no sheen on the surface. But as we know from the BP, that doesn't tell the full story. Shepherd. Oh, it doesn't. Thank you, sir. Joining us now is Earl Hughes. He's the director of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness for Terrebonne Parish in Louisiana. He worked on the cleanup after the 2010 Deepwater Horizon spill and is live on the line with us, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Shepard. How are you? I'm well. Can we tell how bad this is yet? Well, I mean, you know, it, given the indications from the Coast Guard, you know, we do have a bull out and we have a well that is on fire that has a rig that's uh, adjacent to it. But as long as the uh, well is on fire, it's uh, dispersing the methane and also it doesn't cause a, uh, a, a pollution source to uh, hit the water. Here's a new picture we just got in of the thing. I, I guess you were so heavily involved in, in, in the 2010 event and, and became so well educated about these matters. I, I wonder if you could just give us your gut about how big a problem this is. Well, you know, we're not, and I heard your, the other reporter say that the, the parishes don't think that this is going to be a, a, as big of a deal as the BPO. It better not be. And, it, and it won't, it's, it's not going to be. I mean, we have, a, we have a rig on fire that has natural gas, not a crude oil. And the natural gas is at the present time, it's on fire. So the fire is consuming the natural gas coming out of the well. And any of the condensate or the oil product that is associated with natural gas drilling. When at the beginning of the reports before the rig was on fire, uh, they reported there was a light sheen around the, the rig. Yeah. But that was being caused by the condensate uh, coming out of the natural gas well. And at the time, they were saying there was anywhere between four to seven barrels. Uh, per hour, mm -hmm. uh, the condensate is a very, very light oil. Uh, once it, uh, when it, it's on the surface of the water, wave action and uh, direct sunlight will uh, help deteriorate that that sheen. I, you know, I, I want to ask you about the BP spill real quick, if I could, because I, I, I see the commercials that that company puts. You cannot watch television and not see those commercials. So I know that BP is the greatest company that's ever been and the best thing for America in the history of the world. What is the on the ground? situation there with with long-term effects from that spill on the bp oil spill yes uh, at the present time you know our paris wasn't affected as much as plaquemines paris was right. or the Bush Parish because we were further west than they were uh, but at the present time we're still uh, collecting tour balls uh, that are coming on shore in, in small tour mats uh, in the subsurface of the water along our coastline uh, but as far as you know oil uh, leaking still on the beach or, or uh, 
being on the vegetation, we're not seeing any of that uh, at this time. All right. Wishing you all the best, at least until football season. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Shepard. Y'all have a great day.